affected the, the connections between the cerebellum and the frontal cortex, so with the hemispheres of the brain, this connection is interrupted. We uh, have the problems with the patients, uh, not only coordination like uh, for, the, for the extremities, but also, as, as I said, to be stable. And if these connections are interrupted with the, with the frontal lobe, we have the symptom called Asynergia Babinskova. This means, I will show you the test, this means that the patient, that the patient can't stand, he falls down. If you ask him to walk, he can't do the, he can't walk because he doesn't know how it, to do walking, like the child. It, uh, the other way we call it apraxia of walking. We have praxis of walking. We teach the children to stand up and to walk. Yeah? We show him how to do the ways and how to step. Mm -hmm. So he can't stand because he doesn't know which the thirst has to move. This leg or this leg goes first. Which muscles to be uh, uh, contracted and which has to be relaxed. And that's why he can't do it. The other way, the thing is we can test it. We ask the patient to lie on the bed and to put his hands here and then to sit down without his helping him with the hands. Just to sit down. So if the, the patient has problems and these connections are interrupted, he can't do it. He will lift his legs up, but he wouldn't sit. Okay? His legs will be lifted up, but he can't sit. Okay? So, the other test is not only Romberg test, we ask him to put his legs together, yeah? And to put hands like this, this is the Romberg test. And we ask to do it in, with the, his open eyes. If we ask, and if the patient is stable, he doesn't have any problems with vermis of the cerebellum, yes? But if the patient closes his eyes, and then we see that he began to swing, this means that the problem is with his deep sensation, mm -hmm. with his posterior columns in his spinal cord. This, another way, this is sensitive ataxia. Sensitive. This is the difference between cerebellum ataxia and sensitive ataxia. This is why you <coughs> asked me, did, does the patient realize? So when his eyes are open and he realizes that he can't stand, this means Cerebellum ataxia. He wants to, to be stable, but he can't do this. But if he said that I'm okay, I'm walking okay without any disturbances, and he can't stand stable in this way, but when he closes his eyes, he can't stand, this means that deep sensation is affected. Mm -hmm. Sensitive. You, you say that he closes his eyes and yes. he swings. Do yeah. he realize that he swings at that time? Yes, he can. He still, he still yes, realizes. Yes, he realizes. Sometimes the patient will tell you that you know, when it is night, it is difficult to walk. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, because his visual activity is decreased, it's dark. And that's why it's difficult for him. Because our deep sensation, as we were discussed before, mm -hmm. it also uh, is... Um, it is. It is. It also organizes our system to walk, to to do things, and so on. It's our sensation, deep sensation, for muscles, for our joints, and so on. Okay. The other test is to ask the patient to go through the line like this, to put his heels to his toes, this way, straight. And if the patient has problems, he can't do this, he will do like this, walk. Mm -hmm. First you ask him with an open eyes, then you ask, ask him to close his eyes. Again, this is the difference between cerebellum and sensation. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, this is the most important things which we had to discuss about cerebellum and its functions. Now, the other question is extra-pyramidal system, mm -hmm. extra-pyramidal system. Mm -hmm. 